small tutorial about the replay buffer feature in OBS Studio that came in lately. It's only available in the simple output modes, but will come to advanced later. If you don't need multiple track audio, then it doesn't really matter to you and most people don't need that, to be honest. So yeah, it's quite nice, especially for speed running and people should use it more, I think. You want a high quality local recording without spending all your hard drive space all the time and you would have to like start a recording stop it after the run delete it if you don't want it and all that stuff so replay buffer is quite nice for that to do that we just go to the settings go to output set it to simple and let's say these are my streaming settings theoretically and i want to record this now so if I set it to same as stream, the quality in recording, then it would do these settings, which is obviously not what we want because we want a higher recording. That's the whole point of this, right? So let's say in distinguished quality, which is definitely enough. You don't need lossless, trust me. And lossless is also not working with replay buffer for obvious reasons. Rip memory. <laughs> uh, set it to MKV or FLV. Don't fucking use MP4 because if anything goes wrong, your recording is broken forever, which is not the case with these. Then I would recommend setting it to QuickSync or the AMD equi equivalent or NVIDIA's one. Like whatever you feel like doing, just I would stay away from software encoding because you already do that for the stream, usually. Check the enable replay buffer box and now we can set a time and how much memory it can use. It's not how much it will use, but how much it can use. The problem here is we cannot really predict how big the file size will be, right? Because it's variable bitrate and depending on what's going on in game, that will change a lot. So you kind of have to try a bit. And I've set mine to a 3 gigabyte, which should be enough for Portal, for example. So Let's say I want to re record the last 20 seconds. Set 20 seconds. Next part is hotkeys. We set the start replay buffer, the stop replay buffer, and the save one. The save one is the most important one. And now we go in game. We start the replay buffer. And from now on, everything I do in game will be recorded to memory. Also, ignore the laggy video because I'm actually basically doing this with weird settings and all that stuff <laughs> you you get the idea so if i want to save this now i press my save replay buffer button and you see in my folder my video is saved now so it's no longer in the memory so i keep going i want to save again and there's the next part if you set it long enough and you didn't fill up the whole time, then it will still have stuff from the previous replay buffer in it, as long as the time didn't run out. So this is pretty neat if you want to do, let's say, let's say you do 20 minute runs. Speed runs are 20 minutes. You do run, save replay if the run was really good and you PB it or something else. And if you don't, you just don't press the button and it's not on your hard drive. So it's pretty neat so i'm done now i'm stopping the replay replay buffer go into my folder and i can now check my replays out what i did and then you see it didn't actually lag just the recording on the other program did so this is the second one which has a bit of the first one in it because i overlapped them but the last one doesn't because I did it much, much later. So yeah, it's pretty neat if you want high quality recordings of your runs while streaming. And you don't want to save everything to your hard drive all the time, which can be quite annoying and it fills up the, your hard drive really, really quick. So that's a replay buffer. I would recommend using it.